welcome to the first of our Holy Week reflections for KCM and All Saints in Falmouth. Over the six days of Holy Week, Father Ian and myself, along with our wonderful organists, uh, Daniel, Richard and Michael, will be just giving some food for thought, reflection and prayer during these most special days in this most extraordinary of times. For my reflections, I'm going to be reading a poem on each day, one that's special to me, but one that reflects on that time and helps us, I hope, to see things a little more clearly. So today's poem is called Triumphal Entry. It harks back to yesterday's marking of Palm Sunday, but takes us right through to the glories of Easter Day. Triumphal Entry by Harry Guest. Palm fronds and garments flung between the hooves, clamour of welcome for a conqueror inauguration of an age chain-free. Despite all earlier hints, the outcome seemed to let the shouters down. This was to be an empire of submission, instead of protest, service, instead of insurrection, peace. At the other end of the week, God said, let there be blood, and there was blood. His palms that cured the blind and man got hammered to the crossbar. The makeshift tree became stained this time with the red knowledge of obedience. No friends stood by their king who hung their scorn, a felon, a failure, a mere laughing stock who pleaded to the dark, unanswering sky. We're meant to clasp this starless paradox that apparent loss of God contains our hope. All that we dread unshirked and undergone by one who dared the worst the world can do. An empty tomb at daybreak shone with proof. One wounded hand unlocks the gate of death to show the proper end of frailty and pain. Is that quiet passing into paradise? No dust, no yelling, no mistaken dream. Admission to a place where we belong. 